Hamilton. Nice to see you, bro. Awesome. I'm real good. Your family's good? Yeah, awesome. I'm sure. Welcome, young man. Well, you've done a lot of cool things, obviously, in your career. There's lots of success. It's there, been all right. So, so far, so far. It's going all right. The space thing has got to be a real treat. It's amazing. For a guy that, I know you're really interested in this stuff anyway. Right? Yeah, uh, it's awesome. How did you get uh, in on this? I mean, you knew him from before he went up, right? You know, Chris reached out to the band years ago um, when we were touring through the southern U.S. Uh, he reached out and said, hey, uh, you know, I'm this guy, Chris Hadfield. I'm an astronaut. And I'd love to give you guys a tour of Mission Control while you're in Houston. I see you've got a day off. It was amazing. It was totally incredible. I remember <laughs> the best moment was when uh, somebody asked the question. So Chris showed us on the shuttle simulator the WCS, which is the waste collection system. So when you say somebody asked the question, it might have been Tyler. <laughs> he said, so uh, here it is. Uh, it's the WCS. And uh, it actually employs a vacuum uh, pump at the time. So you have to seatbelt yourself into it. And you strap in and, and use it. And Ty said, WCS, is that world's coolest shit? <laughs> <laughs> Waste collection system. <laughs> what it was. Just to be a part of that has got to be out of this world for you, not, not just literally, but the idea that a guy who can be interested in so many things can release a song. How did the idea of the song come up? Uh, Chris, uh, Chris said, I'm going to be up there for six months, and I'd really like to do some recording while I'm up there. Would you be interested in doing some co-writing with me? And I was like, uh, let me check my schedule. Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. Uh, the song came together really quickly, and it was a total co-write, and he... Uh, I'm really proud of it. And so this is something you used to be interested in, right? This wasn't like new to you, the idea of science and, you know, between no, this and I, Big Bang I, Theory. I mean, you're right on the top of this. I've been a science geek forever, a math and science geek, and um, my high school teachers would be cringing right now, but I am. And now maybe the most successful thing you, you, you do is everybody hears that Big Bang Theory song all the time. Yeah, that was an amazing thing to get involved with. How'd that happen? Uh, again, my science geek background, um, I was I was talking in a show in um, uh, L.A., t talking about some esoteric science book I'd just read, and Bill Prady and Chuck Lorre, the creators of the show, were at the show. And they said, we got to get this guy to write the theme song. So they contacted me and said, we have this show called Big Bang Theory. And they said, well, we want you to to basically do a history of everything in about 32 seconds. <laughs> and uh, it was a ton of fun. Theme songs are generally innocuous, but if you listen to the lyrics, the things that are said in this song, in America, today, <laughs> it's a political statement. It's an amazing, the stuff that you're saying, right? You're talking about bipeds, and you're really... Yeah. It, there's no God in the song. Yeah, it's true. Is it... There's a curiosity that one needs to have to be in science, which is sort of a creative field, then, isn't well, it? Well, and for me, that feeling of wonder is a, no different than a spiritual feeling, mm -hmm. you know? I, I think it's beautiful to understand things about the cosmos, to understand the way that we're connected to it. And, and I think it, it is incredibly special that we ended up here just because that through millions and billions of tiny choices, here we are with our opposable thumbs and our poor senses of humor. The fact that our genitalia is very close to where we go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's poor design. That is evidence of unintelligent design. I, I refute the design argument right there. My pleasure center is too close. Well said, young man. Uh, ISS is somebody singing unveiled on Friday uh, on cbcmusic.ca slash space. What a blast. Good to see you, bud. Always good to see you, bro.